today is a haul post. I've been shopping recently, so I thought I'd just share my purchases with you. I've been to River Island and H&M. Let's get going. I'm going to start with River Island. So the first one I'm going to pull out are these grey jeans. So this is what I actually went out shopping for. This has been on my shopping list for a while because I haven't actually got a pair of grey jeans. Um, and I chose these ones. Um, because I wanted a pair with a bit of distress to them but not too much so I didn't want too much like rips and tears and all that kind of thing but this has just got like little patches on I think it's quite nice like not too plain there is something else going on and also like kind of the raw hem going on there as well so I thought these were quite nice they're quite a light pair so a bit lighter than I wanted I wanted slightly darker but yeah, I, uh, I really like these. I think they're going to go with quite a lot of things that I've got in my wardrobe. Um, so these were £42. I went for a size 10 and a regular leg. Now normally I'd go for a short leg. Um, and I did try these on and I think they were just about okay. So I'm going to try them on again. And see really if the length is okay for me. So I'm going to show them on now. So this is the grey jeans on. Please ignore the top. Um... I'm not too sure if the fit is right because they feel a little bit tight and with them being a light grey it's going to show up everything so I'm not sure, I'm going to have a play around and see what I think. But this is them, so this is the, the rippy bit here and a bit of ankle rippage there as well. Okay, so my next item is this black top here, which is kind of like part of the cold shoulder trend, really, um, because it's got the little straps here, but then it's also got the sleeves, the arm goes through there, and you have the little um, like ruffle detail. I don't know if it's showing up too well on the camera. So you have the straps up like that, and then your arm goes through this bit. Uh, and it's really creased. I hate that. Don't you hate them when you go into a shop and they're like, yeah, I'm just going to fold it nicely for you and they go and just shove it in the bag and you're like, oh, no, I'm going to have to iron that to death when I get home and look at it. It's all creasy creasy. But it is really lovely on. Um, like I said, it's the whole, the whole cold shoulder thing but without the, the slippage going on and I don't think I can deal with that because I'll be like yanking it up all day. So I need extra strappage going on there so yeah it's really sweet obviously go nice with the grey jeans and a lot of bits and pieces so I'm going to try that on probably with the grey jeans now okay so this is the black top from River Island um the, the straps and like the cold shoulder kind of sleeve as well um and then it's got this panel at the front going round so it's quite a nice detail there quite light um yeah, I really like this. I think it's really sweet. Um, it's quite summery. I know it's black, but the style. And it's kind of on trend with the, the whole cold shoulder thing without the annoying slippage. So yeah, really like this. So this top is £22. I went for a size 8. I'm a size 8 to 10 at the moment, so... Um, and that fits nicely. That's a good size. Okay, next item is something from the sale actually. Um, it just caught my eye because I thought it would be something nice, to, like as a throwover type item. So this is it here, a long kind of like cover up, I'd say, um, cardigan slash lightweight jacket type dressy thing. I don't really know what kind of category. Well, let's see what it says on the label. It doesn't. But I'd use this as just like a light throw over, um, you know, with jeans and just a, a cami or a vest top or something. I'm not really holding this too well. So the sleeves have got um, like the roll up detail with um, the popper there. Um, golden buttons. <clears throat> and then it's got pockets on the front. I'm going to have to try this one on for you to really show the length and the style. So oh, ah, there we go. I'll put it on, it's a lot easier. So this was £36, 
and down to 20 in the sale and a size 8. I'll put it on now. Okay, so this is um, like the, the lightweight jacket kind of cover up. Um, so it's got the drawstring here if you did want to cinch in a bit more. Um, but then it obviously has the pops down the front and the pockets. But yeah, I think I'll just wear this open like this, just chucked over um, a vest or something. I've just put it over this top just just because I had it on. But yeah, I just thought, you know, it's a nice colour. Um, yeah, so it's a quite nice length as well because it covers the old bummage area. Um, yeah, really like this. So that's it for River Island. Moving on to H&M. So I bought two pairs of shoes. Um, only went for one, bought two, usual story. Um, so I've got, I've actually worn these, but da da da. These are so lovely. I'm really in love with these. Um, do you know what? A few months ago, I just wasn't, you know, I wasn't sure about the whole slide trend. Um, but I put them on and they're so comfy and they go with so many things. And I mean, look at the wedge on that. It makes me taller. Easy to wear. They're just brilliant. I love them. Um, and I quite like the cork detail. It's not actually cork. It's like some sort of plasticky material but it just looks quite nice um yeah so i really really like these i got a size five and um i would say i've got the whole long second toe sitch you know and it is a bit like on the border so i don't know if i should have sized up but they're still comfy i do really like them so let's see them on okay so this is the Sandal slide shoe from H&M. Really comfy. I like these a lot. And these were £20, so quite a good buy, I think. Okay, so the next pair of shoes that I bought were these slippery, slippery, pumpy, <laughs> Everything's E. They're pumps with laces um, that go up around the ankle. I think these are really pretty. Um, now, I bought these because I want a comfy pair of Well, I don't know they're going to be comfy, but I want a flat pair of shoes because I'm going to see Beyonce at the weekend and I want something like flat so I can dance the night away. And I thought, oh, I really wanted a pair of these the lace um, detail these could be good for Beyonce you know it's a bit boring really standard weekend I mean Beyonce you know not really that bothered not really a massive fan or anything <laughs> moving on so these are 12 99 let's see them on so these are the other shoes from H&M, really comfy so far, I think these will be good for my dancing hopefully. Um, please ignore my bow tying skills because I've just whipped them on. But yeah these are really sweet, um, I think they'll go with a lot of my wardrobe, happy with these. So the next item is something I used to wear when I was a teenager. So that's why I've been putting off of buying one, but I really like it and it's really versatile, I think, anyway, for summer. Um, but when I brought it home, my husband was like, what the frick is that ugly thing? That usually means that it's like, yes, I bought something really good. So you know when you get that reaction, like you're not sure whether to buy something and then you go home and someone's like, oh, what the hell is that? You're kind of like, oh, great, I shouldn't have bought it. But you know, I think I'm gonna keep it anyway. Let me know what you think. Um, so here we go. It's a denim jacket, a light one, with distress, rips galore. I mean look, the dog's been at it, you know, it's been in the, I don't know, moth eaten and all that kind of stuff and it's all frayed and oh no, poor denim jacket. But uh, I just, yeah, come on, over a dress 
or just double denim, you know, doing a DD thing. It's got to be done sometime. Um, it's got the whole Coachella vibe thing, it's, it's, you know, you could, you could tell who they're aiming for at this, but like, I like it, I'm going to try it on, let me know what you think. Okay, so here's the denim jacket. I've just chucked it on over what I've been trying on, but you get the gist of the sizing and everything. Um, yeah, so <laughs> there you go, denim jacket. What can I say? It's in my wardrobe, it's here to stay, I think. Really like the length, um, you know, it sits just above the hip. Um, so this is a size 10, so it is quite, it is quite tight if I did try and do it out. In fact, let me just do a button like so. Come on, hurry up. Take your time, love. There we go. So if I did do it up, I think, yeah, I'd look a bit like I'm going to bust out of that. But... Yeah, so you look, look at that. But I don't think I would ever actually do it up. I like, I prefer to wear it open like this. I think that looks quite nice, just chucked on like that. But yeah, I love it. This is a size, size 10. And it's 29.99. Surprised I went for a 10 actually. I would normally go for an eight. Um, obviously this one fits okay so go with what fits um, so yeah that's that one it's the last one this is a grey v-neck lightweight kind of crinkled finish top um, and it's got folds on the sleeves like this so I thought this you know because it's lightweight it'd be good for well hopefully good for the next few months if it's warm um, and quite versatile to go with the things that I bought this is a size six, so I'm quite surprised at that because look at look how that's quite big for a size six, really. Um, so you might want to size down on this one, um, but it's fourteen ninety nine, and let's see it on. So this is the last item, a lightweight V neck top. Um, this is such a good mum everyday top. It really is. It's you know, it's nice and loose I mean like I said this is size 6 but look how loose it is I think it fits quite well um, you know chuck on kind of deal with the kids kind of outfit for me or top so I'm loving it it's nice and light good addition go with lots thumbs up sorry so that's the end of the haul that's everything my favorite item is these is these are these i just think that yeah they're going to go with so much and i'll wear them a hell of a lot around the house out and about very good mum shoe this is the mum shoe i think that's what they should call this they'd sell loads if they called it the mum shoe but yeah my favorite so when i said that top was my last item it actually wasn't i forgot i picked up another few bits from boots I picked up three nail varnishes, so I thought I'd just mention them here. The first one is this Essie Gel Nail Varnish. As you can see, it's like a nice pinky nude colour. And the shade is Spool Me Over. And then to go with that, I also have the top coat as well. So you're supposed to put on, first of all, your colour, and then the top coat. And it's supposed to last something like 14 days. I am not convinced whatsoever that it will actually last 14 days. But I'm going to do a review in a few videos. I'm going to test it out over the next 14 days or however long it lasts. And I'll let you know what I think. So that's those. Those are they're quite expensive. I think they're £10 each. Um, but they're on offer at the moment. It's something like buy one get one half price. And I use my boots points. So it was free. The next one is the L'Oreal, um, like their new range of nail varnishes. This one is number 332 Violet Vendome. I think it's Vendome, yeah. <clears throat> so it's a nice purple shade, quite a bright purple, nice summery colour. Um, I was shopping with my mum, she bought two L'Oreal items and then got the third one for free, so I got this one. So yeah, really nice colour. So that's those bits there. 
So let me know what you thought of the items I bought and what your favourite is. It's just interesting to know. Um, so thanks for watching. If you liked, then please give a thumbs up. I've just started doing this, so it would be great if, you know, you would give a bit of feedback as well. So leave a little comment. Um, and of course, subscribe. That would be fantastic. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Um, Um, la la, camel toe. But you know, it's just kind of standard. Re la 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 la. So when I said.